In this tutorial, we're going to look at error allow dialog. Let's create this HubFX project. Okay. Let's add JavaFX SDK 16 library. That's the JavaFX SDK 16 library. Open FXML in same builder. Let me copy uh, pass to controller class, delete. Then I'm going to use anchor paint, paste it, so that your your project can find FXML. So let's start with one button. I'm going to use a password field with one label. Name it as a password. LPL password. PF password. This button I will name it as a login. BTN login. Let's add one more. Between login uh, event handler, I will change the name later on. Normally, I call it as a uh, handle PTN login. Let's change to private. Then you can add uh, FXML. One more annotation. So we have uh, three FXML event handler. Let's say string password, password field, get text. If the password is less than six, then we are going to show error message. You hello, hello type error. Set title error hello dialog. Context text, um, I would say part of password is only depends on uh, size of your password. 
for example, if you type four characters, it will say your password is only four characters long. Then it should be at least six characters long. Hello? Show and wait. Okay, there is um missing character A. Let's build. Premium options. Model pass pass to your JavaFX SDK library. Add models. JavaFX controls and JavaFX FXML. Uh, this name we can change because we import only one class. You can change a lot of error. Then you need to import subclass of a lot. Lot type. Somehow uh, IntelliJ prefer to to import only one class. Uh, I prefer to do this way. So if you don't type it, the message you're going to have that is uh, based on context text. You type it properly, then nothing happens. Okay, just type one. One character is long. Um, let me change uh, email handler class. Normally we, uh, I prefer to say handle btn login. So let's open with uh, same build again. So here in my handler, let me change to handle btn login. Save it. Okay, handle btn login. So method name change to handle btn login so let me paste it everything should work exactly the same you can build and run it again as you can see it works exactly the same that's all thank you